Hello everyone, uh, this is a first, the first in a series of videos to teach you AP Computer Science. Uh, and basically what you learn in AP Computer Science is you learn the Java programming language and kind of the basics of how you teach a computer to do things. Uh, there's a lot of other programming languages, but they're, they're fairly similar to each other. Once you learn one, it's easy to learn, learn more, and that's what AP Computer Science uh, is done in your, your learning Java. So we'll just do two things today, or maybe more if I have time. Uh, the first is we're going to install a Java integrated development environment on your computer. So I'll show you how to do that on a Mac and on a PC. Uh, we're going to use an environment called BlueJ. Uh, there are other uh, Java IDEs. Uh, NetBeans is a good free one. Eclipse is another uh, good one. But BlueJ is small, quick. A lot of, uh, a lot of schools use it. It's simple uh, and uh, does the trick. So we'll use that one. And the second, uh, second thing we'll do is it's tradition for your first program to basically say hello world uh, to the screen. So, uh, so that's what our first program, program will do. And so, uh, so let's get started uh, at the computer. Okay, so we're going to get started with a Mac. And basically just go to Google, search for Blue J. And you will find a site, bluej.org, and uh, that's where you get it. It's free. What you want is the uh, combined installer with the JDK. So here I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to take this one. And uh, it will download, uh, download it. So I will wait and pause the video while it downloads. Okay, I'm back. It's all downloaded. So you just click on the downloads, click on the folder that it installs. And this, in my case, is BlueJ uh, 3.1.4. And uh, on a Mac, you just drag this to your applications. And then you're good. You have BlueJ installed. So double click on BlueJ and, uh, and bring it up. Okay, now for you, your, you PC users, I'll show you how to uh, find and download BlueJ. So go to Google and uh, search for it, bluej.org. And again, for Windows, you want to do the combined installer with the JDK, so click on that one. And I have a really poor connection, so I will pause while this downloads. Okay, now it's done, so uh, click on that one. Publisher cannot be verified. I'm good with that. Next, install for me, next, next, install, yes, okay, finish, all right, that point should be on your desktop, among other places, so just double click it, and we're off and running. Okay, and this is brought to you by the Nice University of Kent in the UK, I believe. Oh, I will do that. In my case, I am older than 16. Okay, so now we have the BlueJ environment here. Uh, what we're going to do is create a new project. And uh, I'll name this project uh, my first program create okay and then uh, you create a new class okay everything in uh, in uh, Java is done in classes and I will describe classes more in, in, in the future but you can call this my first class leave it in class okay okay and then if you double click on the class uh, you will see basically boilerplate code uh, and you can meaning it's their default template so once you get rid of everything before the word public class and then uh, get rid of all the code in between the curly braces so basically you should have just public class my first class and then a left curly brace brace and a right curly brace okay now um, now this is where your code uh, goes now your code actually goes inside what's called a method and I will describe this more later but all you need to do is type exactly as I type public 
static main, sorry, void main string with a capital uh, S, left bracket, right bracket, space args. Okay. And then um, hit return and then do a left curly brace and a right curly brace. Okay. Every, every program that you're going to write, you're going to have one of these main methods. And again, I'll explain it much, much later. But the good news is it always looks the same. It's public static void main string args uh, and then curly braces. And then your code goes into the curly, uh, goes between the curly braces. So what we're going to do as planned is we're going to print out hello world to the screen. That's all our program is going to do, this first program. So the way you do that is you do system dot out dot print line and then be left right parentheses and then between the parentheses so I'm arrowing back say hello world and then at the end of the line you do a semicolon okay and that's all you need to do to print out hello world to the screen. So to actually make it happen, after you've written the code, you compile it. And when you compile it, look down here to make sure there's no syntax errors. A syntax error would be if you mistype something. So forget the semicolon or forget a parenthesis or misspell something, you would get a syntax error. So make sure it says no syntax errors. And then close out of the class. And then what you're going to do to run the class, now that it's compiled, is you right-click on it and you select void main, meaning run that main method. Here you just always hit OK. And you should see it say hello world. Okay, So that's our first program that wrote hello world to the window. And uh, that's uh, it's super exciting. So, uh, so to make it a little bit more exciting, let's say hello world like uh, let's say it 10 times. First of all, let's do some exclamation points. And all you need to do is just copy this line. Okay. So now, uh, now it's going to say, it'll just, actually it's all messed up because of the tabs. What you can do is there's auto formatting. So if you go up here and do edit and then auto layout, It'll straighten everything out, so it'll look nice. Uh, and then uh, compile again, close, right-click on your class, select void main, hit OK. And then it'll run your program again, and you can see it says hello world, uh, whatever that is, 10 times. OK, and that first hello world is from the last time we ran it. So it, um, this little screen remembers what it said, said before. Okay, so now uh, now that we do have a couple minutes, uh, let me just show you a few other things you can do. So uh, Java can also do math pretty well. So if you do system dot out dot print line, you can in the parentheses you can do things like uh, like math. So you can do five plus seven times forty nine. And what that'll do is uh, excuse me seven. That's 49. What that'll do is that'll print out whatever that is. Uh, it'll do it properly. So it'll do 7 times the 49, so 300, I don't know, 43 plus 5, 348 maybe. Um, and then uh, you, know, you can do another math equation 89 times 64 minus 3 times 4. Uh, System dot out. Print line. Do uh, area of a circle, 3.14 times r squared, 8 times 8. Uh, and, then, uh, and then it also can do, you know, similar to um, Hello World, anything you put in between uh, the parentheses in quotes, it'll just print that out. So Java is good at math. Okay, so let's take a look at what this looks like. So compile it, close, right click, void main, 
Okay. All right, 348, I got that right, I think. Uh, 5684 is probably that second one. So you can just double click if you want to see your code as well. Uh, that's the area of a circle, so 64 times 3 or so. That sounds about right. And then Java is good at math. It just, anything in quotes, it'll just spit back uh, at you. Okay, so that's, uh, that's basically our first, uh, first program. So let me, uh, I'll go back to the board and just, uh, just summarize real quick. Okay, good. Uh, so now what I'll do is just recap what, uh, what we just uh, learned, some of the vocabulary, I guess. So the first is class. Uh, so everything in Java, all your code will go into classes. And the word will make more sense uh, later, but uh, just, just so you understand that outer wrapper, you created a class called My First uh, program or whatever name uh, name you want, and then the code goes inside there. Uh, we learned one command, the system dot out dot print line, basically, and inside those parentheses you can put, uh, you know, a string in quotes. So anything you put in quotes will just go out to the uh, screen, or you can put math expressions, so like five plus three or uh, something, uh, some kind of expression. Uh, third is compile. What compile actually does is it takes the um, uh, the program and turns it into that you understand the language of humans, I guess, uh, and turns it into language of computers. So kind of the bits and bytes that the computer needs to actually run it. So that's what happened when you uh, when you selected compile. And then last, uh, the main method. So uh, when Java starts up and you say run, uh, it always searches for something that looks like that public static void main string args. So you just kind of have to memorize that. I'll explain it probably later in a video what all that stuff uh, stuff means, but you just have to memorize that or cut and paste it from from somewhere uh, and then your code goes goes inside those curly braces. So, um, so that's it for uh, video number one and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!